Hello, my name is Alexandra Plant. I'm a librarian at HCCC Libraries. In today's video, we are going to take a look at three of the newspaper subscriptions that you as a student have access to through your enrollment at HCCC. The newspapers that we have subscriptions to are the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. The HCCC libraries provide access to three major news subscription sites. Desktop and access to the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal are available to students, faculty, and staff using your HCCC email. Access to the Washington Post is available through the HCCC library website. Access to the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal is very easy to set up. First, you'll go to library.hccc.edu, which you can see up here in the address bar, and then you'll navigate to eResources. From eResources, you can directly click onto News, and you'll be taken to a list of our news database list. To access the New York Times Digital Edition, you will click on New York Times Digital Edition. If you are off campus, which many of us are, you will need to use your login credentials. This is your email, your school email, as well as the password that you use to log in. From here, you have the option of creating an account. I already have an account, but I will show you by clicking on create account how easy this can be. You will choose your email address. This must be your hccc.edu email. If you use your personal email, it will not recognize you as a student and therefore you will not be able to access the subscription services. You can choose a password of your own choosing down here. You will then get an email to your school email that you will need to click to confirm. If I go back out, I will now show you, once you've created your login credentials for the New York Times, you can click login here and click login. You can click go to the New York Times and now you'll see that you have access to the entirety of the New York Times. This is important because a newspaper like the New York Times is subscription based, which means that you get a number of free articles each month. But once you run out of those free articles, the articles go up behind a paywall. By being a student and accessing the New York Times to the library, you're now able to read as many news stories from the New York Times as you'd like, and you can read it across the sections. Additionally, now that you've created a login, you can download the New York Times app, log in with your login, and you'll be able to do browsing on your smartphone. To sign up for the Wall Street Journal, it's very similar. I'm just going back now to the list of newspapers, and I'm going down to the Wall Street Journal Digital Edition. Very, very similar to the New York Times, you will be prompted to create an account. And so they recognize me again as already being um, a member. So I will just click sign in. But if you aren't a member yet, you will use your same hccc.edu email, create your own password, confirm in your school email, and then you can use your credentials to sign in. The Wall Street Journal is another newspaper that is behind a paywall. And actually, I do not believe you can access any Wall Street Journal articles unless you have a paying subscription. So for this one, it's very advantageous. The Wall Street Journal can be used for a number of different reasons, but most people like to use it for business and economic research and reading. Again, like the New York Times, now that you've actually created a user, you can download the Wall Street Journal app to your smartphone and read directly from there. You don't even need to come to the library website. 
If I go back one more time to that list of newspapers, we can take a look at the third newspaper that we have. The Washington Post, it's available on, right underneath the Wall Street Journal Digital Edition, but this newspaper operates a little bit differently. Unlike the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times, which have you sign up for an account, the Washington Post operates a little bit more like a database. So you must be on the library website and you must be logged in with your HCCC credentials. Those are the ones that you would use to log into your email or to access your portal. And from here, you're now in and you can click on as many articles as you'd like. The Washington Post and the New York Times are very similar in the sense that they're kind of writing about everything that's going on in the nation and abroad. That about sums up everything that you need to know to access the subscription newspapers from the HCCC library website. If you have any questions, you always are able to ask us via chat, which pops up conveniently whenever you visit our website. And you can specifically ask for a library tech to help you if you're having any technical issues. Thank you very much, and I hope to hear from you soon.